the high octane drama of Power Book 2 Ghost continues to resonate with our viewers and we're thrilled to get a season 4 production underway ahead of our season 3 debut. It's clear our fans are ready to devour more of this explosive series and we look forward to having Michael join our incredible cast. Those are the words of Catherine Busby who is the president of original programming 4 Stars as she confirms Power Book 2 Ghost renewal for season 4. But in addition to the renewal, they also confirmed details for a new character that could give us some major clues for a potential shift in the series and it wasn't too long ago where I broke down a major shift that could come in season 5, so could this play a part? But in this video, we're not only going to break down how this new character could change things, we're also going to break down the title for episode 1, your perception, your reality, with what it means, how it relates to different characters in the series, but also how it relates to the general theme of my channel and videos. And as always, some early predictions and theories based on evidence, facts and findings. Now Michael Ely will be joining the cast as a series regular for season 4 and this is his character description which may give us a clue as to the direction they're taking the show in. Detective Don Carter, a rising NYPD officer who was on track to become police commissioner until his wife was killed in a crossfire between rival drug gangs. Vying to make the street safer, Carter traded his tie-in for a Kevlar vest and now leads an elite NYPD drug task force that elicits concrete results against drug-related violence. While his achievements are noteworthy public recognition, nothing can bring back his lost love. Now, one thing I'm sure many of us are wondering was who was Carter's wife that was killed in a crossfire between rival drug gangs. After all, we've seen Ghost connect the dots to Mecca with Felipe Lobos, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did something similar just to give more meat to Carter's character. But regardless of who his wife is and whether or not we've seen or heard of her before, this has only fueled his ambition to make the community and the streets a safer place. He sounds like a man on a mission and someone who wants to avenge his love's death. So how far is he willing to go? He's going to be leading an elite NYPD drug task force that's going to come down hard on those in the streets. And we've seen this before. I'm Francesca Lavaro, Chief of Criminal Division, along with my deputy, AUSA, Angela Valdez. I'll be leading this task force. At the beginning of power, there was a task force formed by Francesco Lavaro, Chief of the Criminal Division, and with the newly promoted AUSA, Angela Valdez. They created a task force to bring down the notorious Felipe Lobos and so their focus was to try and find Felipe Lobos' distributor in New York, Ghost. But throughout power, we saw the task force become smaller and smaller with the death of various agents. For example, Agent Donovan who died protecting a snitch, Andre Coleman. Type of things he's a good guy. A good guy's finished last, nigga. Now the death of various characters gave the opportunity for others in law enforcement, for example, Blanca Rodriguez, who we all know will be returning in Season 3, with her eyes firmly set on Tariq St. Patrick. So one of the questions that we do have to ask is if Detective Don Carter is leading this elite task force, where does it leave the characters like Blanca Rodriguez and Detective Whitman? Whitman is a character who definitely gives me serious Greg Knox vibes and so I wouldn't be surprised if he caught a hot one giving the opportunity for Detective Don Carter to step up who has this added fuel and fire but nothing will bring back his love. Now this also gives us a clue as to which direction Power Book 2 Ghost seem to be going in. In Season 1, we saw this theme of inheritance and Tariq being troubled through his college professors which ended up in the death of Jabari. In Season 2, Tariq was still running from a legacy that haunts him. In Season 3, he's going to be taking that step into the real world, but also getting deeper into the game with the Tahadas and a dangerous new connect. But as the stakes get higher and as they get deeper into the street game, death and drug related violence is an inevitable consequence of the game. So eventually they're going to catch the eye of the NYPD. So where we may see Tariq St. Patrick more in Wall Street and in the game in Season 3, in Season 4, it seems like him, Brayden and the Tahadas will have the added complication of having this task force trying to clean up the streets, which is what we saw Ghost having to tackle for most of his time on power, especially in the earlier seasons. He was trying to find an exit from the game, keep his family safe, as well as try and build a legit legacy that he could be proud of, but also something that would make his father proud. That's what I also see for Tariq St. Patrick, him shifting and trying to create a legacy that Ghost would be proud of. After all, it's not taken long for Tariq to realize the consequences of the game. But where Ghost had the problem of various characters like Cooper Sacks, Don Carter will be a problem for Tariq St. Patrick. Whether he's someone who uses dirty tactics and strategies like we've seen before, or whether he's straight by the book, who knows. But one thing we do know is, those who go after the St. Patricks often lose. And we might just find Blanca Rodriguez losing a battle against Tariq St. Patrick 
in season 3, which is why I think we could make a good case for her to cross over into Force to try and catch Thomas Patrick Egan. So that's also another element we need to watch towards the end of season 3, the crossover and how it could potentially tie into the rise of Detective Don Carter. Now for those who have been around for a while watching my theories and breakdowns, I make it known how it's important to open our eyes to different perspectives and angles and look at the story from different perspectives. Ironically, this is exactly what episode 1's title of season 3 wants us to explore. The meaning behind your perception, your reality, is understanding how the world is shaped by somebody else's own personal beliefs and thoughts. So each person's reality is unique. It's based on their own individual perceptions of events. So what I may perceive and my perspective to certain situations won't exactly be the same as everybody else's perception, which is what makes power great and why I open the comment section and interact with different perspectives. Now in Power Book 2 Ghost terms, what do they mean by your perception, your reality? We know that the world that Tariq comes from and his personal beliefs and attitudes has changed over time. He was someone who wanted to grow up and be his own man and come out from under the shadow of Ghost. But the more Tariq enters deeper and deeper into the game, the more he experiences what Ghost went through, he's realised the game isn't worth the consequences it comes with, which is why we're going to see him enter the real world and find an avenue which he can make success and make a ton of legit money, not dirty money. But your perception and your reality doesn't just revolve around Tariq St. Patrick. Each and every single one of these characters have a reality which is unique to them because it's based on their own individual perception of events. For example, Effie saw the situation with Lauren different to Tariq. Raider's not gonna want to kill her if he finds out. Kane's the danger. You know, she gotta get the fuck out of here. And you gonna help her? Yes. Malibu Barbie's a fucking snitch, Tariq. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't understand the danger in that? Effie made reference to how she and Tariq trust differently and this comes down to each person's perception of that event, where Tariq had love for Lauren, wanted to protect her and trusted her not to say anything. Effie was looking at this from the angle of her being a snitch, Lauren catching Kane and Brayden on a wire, but she was also looking at this in a way where if she got rid of Lauren, she gets rid of her competition when it comes to Tariq. Brayden's perception and reality is that he finds himself in a conflicted environment. He's never been one to take handouts from his parents, who want him to follow in their footsteps at his father's hedge fund, but he's finally found something he's good at, the game, the street. He feels that's where he belongs and we saw how he approached Tariq in Go Season 1. He said they had a good thing at Chode and he wanted to reboot what they had before. But where Brayden believes he thrives in this world, he's slowly being exposed to more and more and that's what I think will continue in Season 3. He's gonna get deeper into the game and face challenges he's never faced before and it's a reason why I fully expect Brayden to turn by getting his first kill. Whether this creates a bloodthirsty monster or whether he realises this game just hurts those around them, we may have already had a glimpse as to what he's thinking. We ruin people's lives, Reek. We ruin people's lives, Reek. So Brayden will come to the realisation of the consequences of the game, something Tariq did warn him of after Kane's manipulation of Brayden, which resulted in him fighting a double homicide charge. But with that being said, that's a breakdown for some great early news for Power Book 2 Ghost Renewal for Season 4. Detective Don Carter's role and how it gives us a clue with how there could be more of a shift from the classroom to the boardroom and streets but with the added problem of a new task force. So drop all your thoughts down below on how you think this plays out in season 3, especially with the news of Carter's role for season 4. So drop all your thoughts and theories down below and of course if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 2 Ghost and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.